mercy. For peace from an high for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy church and for all men, for with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Holy Father, Francis, Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most reverend Metropolitan, William, for God loving bishops, for the venerable presbytery, the diaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our government and for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For this city, for every city community, and for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for the abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by sea, air, and land, for the sake this offering, the captain, for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have Protect us, save us, immerse in us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord have Commemorating her most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious lady, the Theotokos and Ever Virgin, Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another. And our whole life to Christ our God. Evening, morning, and at noon we praise you, we bless you, we thank you, and we pray to you, Master of all and loving Lord. Let our prayer rise like incense before you, and do not let our hearts be turned to evil words or thoughts, but deliver us from all that might it's near our souls. For to you, Lord, O Lord, our eyes are turned, and in you we hope. Let us not be put to shame, our God. For to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is due all glory, honor, and worship, now and ever, and forever. Amen. To the Lord in the hour of my distress, I call and he answers me. O Lord, save my soul from lying lips, from the tongue of the deceitful. What shall he repay you in return, O treacherous tongue? The warrior's hair is sharpened, and coals red hot blazing. Alas, that I abide a stranger in Mesha, dwell among the tents of Kedar. Long enough have I been dwelling with those who hate peace. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for fighting. I lift up my eyes to the mountains, from where shall come my help? My help shall come from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. May he never allow you to stumble, let him sleep not your guard. No, he sleeps not nor slumbers, Israel's guard. The Lord is your guard in your shade, at your right side he stands. By day the sun shall not smite you, nor the moon in the night. The Lord will guard you from evil, he will guard your soul. The Lord will guard your going and coming, both now and forever. I rejoiced when I heard them say, let us go to God's house. And now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city, strongly compact. It is there that the tribes go out, the tribes of the Lord. For Israel's law it is, there to praise the Lord's name. There were set the thrones of judgment of the house of David. For the peace of Jerusalem pray, peace be to your homes. May peace reign in your walls, in your palaces, peace. For love of my brethren and friends, I say peace upon you. For love of the house of the Lord, I will ask for your good. To you have I lifted up my eyes, you who dwell in the heavens. My eyes like the eyes of slaves on the hand of their lords, like the eyes of a servant on the hand of her mistress. So our eyes are on the Lord our God, till he show us his mercy. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. We are filled with contempt. Indeed, all too full is our soul with the scorn of the rich, with the proud man's disdain. 
If the Lord had not been on our side, this is Israel's song. If the Lord had not been on our side, when men rose up against us, then would they have swallowed us alive when their anger was kindled. Then would the waters have engulfed us, the torrent gone over us. Over our head would have swept the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord, who did not give us a prey to their teeth. Our life like a bird has escaped from the snare of the fowler. Indeed, the snare has been broken, and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. O Lord, I have cried to you, hear me. Hear me, O Lord. O Lord, I have cried to you, Receive the voice of my prayer when I call upon you. Hear me, O Let my prayer ascend to you, my incense, and the lifting up of my hands, like an before my mouth, and set a seal on the door of my lips. Let not my heart be inclined to evil, nor make excuses for the sins I commit. Let me never share in sinners' feasting. If a just man strikes or reproves me, it is kindness. But let the oil of the wicked not anoint my head. Let my prayer be ever against their malice. The princes were thrown down by the side of the rock. Then they understood that my words were kind. As a millstone is shattered to pieces on the ground, so their bones were strewn at the mouth of the grave. To you, Lord God, my eyes are turned. In you I take refuge, spare my soul. From the trap they have laid for me, keep me safe. Keep me from the snares of those who do evil. Let the wicked fall into the traps they have set, while I pursue my way unharmed. With all my voice I cry to the Lord, with all my voice I entreat the Lord. I pour out my trouble before him, I tell him all my distress, while my spirit pains with me. But O Lord, show my path, on the way where I shall walk, they have hidden a snare to entrap me. Look on my right and see, there is no one who takes my part. I have no means of escape, not one who cares for my soul. I cry to you, O Lord, I have said you are my refuge, all I have in the land of the living. Listen then to my cry, for I am in the depths of distress. Rescue me from those who pursue me, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of this prison, and then I shall praise your name. Around me the just will assemble, because of your goodness to me. How to the depths I cry to you, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleading. If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, you would survive. But with you is found forgiveness, for this we revere you. My soul is long waiting for the word, Lord, I count on his word. My soul is longing for the Lord more than watchmen for daybreak. Let the watchman count on daybreak and his riel on the Lord. The harlot recognized you, the virgin son, as God. She wept for her lamentable deeds and begged you. Loose my debt as I unloose my head. Love me as I love you, though I deserve your hatred. 
and together with the publicans I will acclaim you. Benefactor and lover of us all. Because with the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption, Israel indeed he will redeem from all its iniquity. The harlot mingled tears with the costly myrrh, poured it on your immaculate feet and kissed them. At once you justified her. So also grant pardon to us and save us, O Savior, who suffered for our sake. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Acclaim him, all you peoples. While the sinful woman was bringing the disciple was conspiring with the lawless. She rejoiced to extend the costly myrrh, while he hastened to sell the priceless one. She recognized the master, the master from whom he drew away. She was freed, but Judas became the enemy slave. How awful his callousness, how great her repentance. Grant us such repentance and save us. O oh, Savior, who suffered for our sins. Strong is the love of the Lord for us. He is faithful forever. Oh, the misery of Judas. He saw the harlot kiss your feet, and he harbored plans to betray you with a kiss. She unbound her hair, but he was bound with anger. And for instead of her the stench of evil. For envy does not choose its own advantage. Oh, the misery of Judas, deliver our souls, O God, from the same. <clears throat> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever. Amen. The woman who had fallen into many sins, sensing your divinity, O Lord, Assumed the purbearer's role and mourned, preparing you with her before your burial. She said, Woe is me for gloomy moon this night. He incites my unbridled desires and lust for sin. You who draw down sea water from the clouds, Accept the fountain of my tears. Incline to the groaning of my heart as you bow the heavens when you emptied yourself. I will kiss your immaculate feet and wipe them with the hair of my head. Those feet whose steps Eve heard at dusk in paradise and hid herself in fear, who will search the multitude of my sins or plumb the depths of your judgments. Do not despise me, your servant, O Savior of my soul, for your mercy knows no measure. Wisdom be a
striking a Hebrew, one of his own kinsmen. Looking about and seeing no one, he slew the Egyptian and hid him in the sand. The next day he went out again, and now two Hebrews were fighting. So he asked the culprit, Why are you striking your fellow Hebrew? But the culprit replied, Who has appointed you ruler and judge over us? Are you thinking of killing me as you killed the Egyptian? Then Moses became afraid and thought, The affair must certainly be known. Pharaoh too heard of the affair and sought to put Moses to death, but Moses fled from Egypt and stayed in the land of Midian. As he was seated there by a well, seven daughters of a priest of Midian came to draw water and fill the troughs to water their father's flock. But some shepherds came and drove them away. Then Moses got up and defended them and watered their flock. When they returned to their father Ruel, he said to them, How is it you have returned so soon today? They answered, An Egyptian saved us from the interference of the shepherds, he even drew water for us and watered the flock. Where is the man? He asked his daughters. Why did you leave him there? Invite him to have something to eat. Moses agreed to live with him, and the man gave his daughter Zipporah in marriage. She bore him a son, who he named Gershom, for he said, I am a stranger in a foreign land. Wisdom be attentive. Your mercy, O Lord, is eternal. Despise not the work of your hands. I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. In the presence of the angels I shall bless you. Your mercy, O Lord, is eternal. Despise not the work of your hands. Wisdom. 
Wisdom, a reading from Job. Let us be attentive. At that time, once again the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came with them. And the Lord said to Satan, Whence do you come? And Satan answered the Lord and said, From roaming the earth and patrolling it. And the Lord said to Satan, have you noticed my servant Job, and that there is no one on earth like him, faultless and upright, fearing God and avoiding evil? He still holds fast to his innocence, although you incited me against him to ruin him without cause. And Satan answered the Lord and said, Skin for skin, all them that a man has will he give for his life. But now put forth your hand and touch his bone and flesh, and surely he will blaspheme you to your face. And the Lord said to Satan, He is in your power, only spare his life. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord and smote Job with severe boils from the soles of his feet to the crown of his head. And Job took a potsherd to scrape himself as he sat among the ashes. Then his wife said to him, are you still holding to your innocence? Curse God and die. But Job said to her, Are even you going to speak as a senseless women do? We accept good things from God, and should we not accept evil? Through all this Job said nothing sinful. Please be to your reader. Wisdom, let my prayer ascend to who you like incense, and the lifting up of my hands like an evening Oh, uh... 
Jesus, for the sins I commit. Let my prayer ascend to you like incense, and the lifting up of my hands like an evening sacrifice. Lord and, and master of my, my life, life, spare me from the spirit of indifference, despair, lust, lust for power, and idle chatter. Instead, bestow on me, your servant, the spirit of integrity, humility, patience, and love. Yes, O Lord and King, let me see my own sins and not judge my brothers and sisters, for you are blessed forever and ever. Amen. Wisdom, let us then listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be to A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. Let us be attentive. At the time Jesus was in Bethany at the house of Simon the leper, a woman came to him having an alabaster flask of very costly fragrant oil, and she poured it on his head as he sat at the table. But when his disciples saw it, they were indignant, saying, Why this waste? For this fragrant oil might have been sold for much and given to the poor. But when Jesus was aware of it, he said to them, Why do you trouble the woman? For she has done a good work for me. For you have the poor with you always, but me you do not have always. For in pouring this fragrant oil on my body, she did it for my burial. Assuredly, I say to you, Wherever this gospel is preached in the whole world, what this woman has done will also be told as a memorial to her. Then one of the twelve called Judas Iscariot went to the chief priest and said, What are you willing to give me if I deliver him to you? And they counted out to him thirty pieces of silver. So from the time he sought opportunity to betray him. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, glory to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. And I would like to say thank you so much to all of you that you are watching and praying this liturgy this evening together with us on this great and holy Wednesday. How we could hear from the Gospels reading for this evening that Judas Iscariot, he went to the Pharisees on this day 
and he betrayed Jesus. He sold him for 30 pieces of silver. Now also this evening we hear a wonderful story, an amazing story about a woman who came and put that fragrant oil, you know, on the Jesus' feet and washed the Jesus' feet, you know, with that fragrant and very costly oil. From the gospel we know that that oil, the price of that oil, you know, could be up to 300 denarii, huh? 300 denarii back in that, in that time, it was like middle class worker salary of the whole year, hmm? of the whole year, 300 denarii. For 300 denarii, we can also pick up Pick it up, you know, from another reading, you know, of the gospel. That for 300 dinner you could feed around five, six thousand people. Hmm? And that woman, she probably had that oil. It was the most expensive thing which she had, you know. That oil. And she anointed with that oil Jesus' feet. She gives to him, you know, most expensive thing which she had. She offered that to Jesus. Because she loved him. She was probably forgiven of many sins. What lesson we can pick up, you know, this evening, in this time, from this gospel? The first lesson, you know, about those values. What values we have in our life. Do we realize that everything, you know, what I have, it comes from God. And everything what I have, or even everything what I don't have, it is a blessing. It's a blessing from God. And especially in these days, let's think, you know, all, all of us, let's think, you know, what do we need, people? What do we need, really, for, for life? To exist, to, to exist in a good way. If we would think, you know, we could realize that we don't need, you know, those expensive restaurants, huh? Restaurants are closed. Nobody's buying now, you know, fancy cars, fancy phones, fancy stuff. Full go, you know, to the stores will not as what people are buying now. Essential things, what they need for life. And it's enough. Hmm? Let's think about our values. Why I am living and for what? The second moment where we can notice from today's gospel that the woman she used her chance. She used that chance. Jesus Christ was in that house and she had that maybe one chance, you know to do, to anoint his face, to use that oil. And she used that. She had, she used that. She didn't miss. She didn't miss that opportunity to serve to Jesus.
many of us in this time we're sitting in homes we have plenty of time many of us we have plenty of time and people start to complain they do not know what to do they got bored I would like to give you one advice. Use this time. Use. Use this time to your personal meeting with Lord. In your heart, in your life. Use this time to be with God. To pray. Take a rosary. Take a prayer book. Take Bible. Use this time. And the third, how I said, you know, the woman, she had, for her, this oil could be, you know, most expensive thing what she could have. What she had. Who would think, you know, what is the most expensive thing would I have? My time. So let all of us in these days offer ourselves to God. And not only in these days. Let's, you know, try to be with God all the time. Now for, you know, to Him that most expensive would think what you have, your time, your life, for the service of God and for the service of my neighbor, of our neighbor. Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say. O Lord, have mercy. O Lord, Almighty God of our fathers, we pray, hear us and have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to great mercy, we pray, hear us and have mercy. O Lord, have Again, we pray for our Holy Father, Francis, Pope of Rome, and for Mr. Reverend Metropolitan, William, for God, loving bishops, for those who serve and who serve in this holy church, for our spiritual fathers, and for all our brothers and sisters, sing Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our government and for all in the service of our country. Again, we pray for the healing of those who are suffering and the cure and outbreak of sickness of the coronavirus, and for all those who are working for the means to help the spread of this disease. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For the blessed repose for those who have fallen asleep because of this sickness of coronavirus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the people here present who have a great and abundant mercy for those who 
show us merits and all Christians of the true faith. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. For you are a merciful and loving God, doing your glory to Father, Son, and Holy Spirit now and ever and forever. And send down upon us and return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, let this holy union be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin, let us besiege the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide and guardian of our souls and bodies, so let us besiege the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For the 
pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us beseech the Lord. For what is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, let us beseech the Lord. And this that we may spend the rest of our life in peace and repentance, let us beseech the Lord. And this for a Christian, painless and ashamed, peaceful end of our life, and for a good account before the fearsome judgment seat of Christ, let us beseech the Lord. And this Asking for unity in the faith and for communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. O oh God of mysteries beyond human thought and vision, in you are hidden the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. You have revealed to us the service of this liturgy, and in your great love have appointed us sinners to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins and for the people's failings. O invisible King, you perform wonders that cannot be fathomed and miracles that cannot be counted. Look upon us, your unworthy servants, as we stand before this holy altar, as before your cherubic throne, where, you, where your only begotten Son and our God is present in these awesome mysteries here before us. Deliver us and your faithful people from every impurity, sanctify our souls and bodies with a holiness that cannot be taken away, that, that we may partake of these holy gifts with a pure conscience, without shame and with an enlightened heart. As we are given life by them, may we be united with your Christ himself, our true God, who said, Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. With Christ your word living in us and walking among us, O Lord, may we become a temple of your all-holy and adorable spirit rescued from every trap of the devil, such indeed or word or thought, together with all your saints who have been pleasing to you since time began. May we obtain the promised blessings and make us worthy a master, that we may with confidence and without condemnation call you Father, God of heaven, and say, Our Father who art in and the loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together, with your all holy good and like reading spirit now and ever and forever.
O Lord, I believe and profess that you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Accept me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, O Son of God, for I will not reveal your mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief I profess you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come in your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be not for my judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. O Lord, I also believe and profess that this which I am about to receive is truly your most precious body and your life-giving blood, which I pray make me worthy to receive for the remission of all my sins and for life everlasting. Amen. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. <clears throat> and sanctifies us always, now and ever and forever. Savior of 
wonderful. We thank you for all the blessings you have given us and for communion in the holy body and blood of your Christ. We pray, O loving Master, protect us by the shadow of your wings and grant that until our last breath we may partake worthily of your holy gifts for the enlightenment of soul and body and for the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven. For your our sanctification, we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Almighty Lord, in wisdom you created everything through your inexpressible providence and great goodness you have brought us to these solemn days for the purification of soul and body, the control of passions and the hope of resurrection. During the forty days you gave your servant Moses the tablets of the line scribe by your divine hand. In your goodness grant that we also may fight the good fight, complete the curse of the fast, keep the faith without division, crush the heads of invisible serpents, conquer sin and arrive without reproach to worship your holy resurrection. For blessed and glorified is your most honored and magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Blessed be Our true God, have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of His most pure Mother, and of the holy and glorious and illustrious apostles, of the holy and just ancestors of God, Jacob and Anna, and through the prayers of all the saints for Christ is good and loves us all. Amen. One more time, I would like to say thank you so much to all of you that you were praying this divine liturgy this evening with us. Also would like to say thank you so much to Mr. Michael McCann who were helping us, you know, with, with these services Monday, Tuesday, and this evening. Thank you so much, Michael, for your help, for coming this evening and praying and helping us with these services. And to all of us, especially to you who are watching us, who are praying with us, Wish you to have a nice and blessed evening and hopefully see you tomorrow evening at 6 p.m. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory forever.
Oh, God. 